Our planet is mainly composed of water, and the majority of it remains unexplored to this day. Mankind has already managed to invent innovative technology and send people into outer space. But the ocean is among the one of the places we can't venture into completely. Those among you who have been in the middle of the ocean know how treacherous the waves are. Moreover, we have no idea what's lurking beneath said waves. In the meantime, let's take a look at some of the most astonishing and puzzling discoveries underwater. From mysterious submarine disappearances to a phantom island, here are 15 underwater discoveries that cannot be explained. Number 15. Mysterious Submarine Disappearances in 1968 Submarines are the apex predators of maritime conflict. These watercraft can lay mines around enemy ports and in shipping channels. They're also effective in attacking surface fleets and sinking ships transporting torpedoes or missiles. But it seems like something is happening underwater in the depths where submarines are navigating. In the early months of 1968, four submarines vanished without a trace. Among the four submarines were the Israeli watercraft INS Dakar, French submarine Minerve, the Soviet submarine K-129, and the USS Scorpion that served in the United States Navy. Prior to its disappearance, USS Scorpion already experienced several mishaps. The USA Navy Skipjack-class nuclear-powered submarine had an electrical fire during one of its system tests while the watercraft was in Norfolk, Virginia. The submarine was given a 500-foot depth limit prior to its deployment, but months later, the U.S. submarine failed to return to Norfolk by its expected arrival date. It was officially declared lost in June 1968. Several attempts to find the watercraft were carried out in the following years. In fact, the Navy even secretly searched for the submarine, but to this day, its whereabouts remain unknown. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 14. Giant Cannibal Shark There are a lot of monsters lurking underwater that we still don't know about. That's why the case of the missing 9-foot shark remains to be one of the most chilling cases to this day. Sharks have long fascinated scientists. That's why marine biologists all over the world have been trying to keep track of all the living sharks on our planet. In 2014, scientists in Australia spotted a massive 9-foot great white shark on the coast. After tagging the creature, they were able to monitor its activities and movements underwater for the next few months, until they noticed that the animal stopped moving. They traced the location of the tag and found that the device washed up on a beach. It was then that they made a chilling realization. Something ate the 9-foot long animal. But what could it be? What other creature in the ocean could consume this ferocious predator? Scientists were immediately on the move and checked the data recorded by the tracking device. After inspecting it, the tracking device showed a rapid temperature rise and a sudden drop in depth. During the 9-foot shark's last moments, it plunged 1,900 feet deep into the abyss. The deepest recorded depth that sharks were found was 4,200 feet underwater, but the sudden drop was still unusual. Was it the kraken? A giant squid? The mythical megalodon? Or a vicious, rabid killer whale? For so long, scientists tried to discover the culprit behind the disappearance of the shark, but it wasn't until years later that they figured out what happened. It wasn't any of the creatures that they initially thought, but the animal responsible for killing and eating the shark was still disturbing. According to researchers, the culprit behind the puzzling case was a massive cannibal great white shark. The mysterious killer was estimated to be about 16 feet long and weighed over 2 tons. This massive creature didn't have any problem pulling a mere 9-foot shark to the bottom of the ocean and consuming its flesh. This goes to show that underwater, the bigger, more ferocious predators won't hesitate to eat even those of their own kind. Number 13. Ruins of the Gulf of Combat. Most archaeological discoveries were made by chance, and if it gets verified, an innocuous piece of wood and several small artifacts might push back Indian antiquity to 7,500 BC. In 2010, oceanographers from the National Institute of Ocean Technology in Chennai were mapping the murky sea 30 kilometers off the Gujarat coast in the Gulf of Cambay. Initially, their purpose was to measure the level of marine pollution in the area, but instead, they made a stunning discovery. Upon examining the sonar photographs they took on the ocean floor, they realized that the scanner caught something interesting. More than 40 meters underwater were the remains of a previous unknown ancient city. 
Excavations immediately began, and after weeks of dredging the site, over 2,000 artifacts were recovered. It turned out that the ancient underwater city had a striking resemblance to the civilization that flourished in the Indus Valley. Overall, the vast region measured 5 miles long and 2 miles wide. Experts estimate that the site dates back to 5000 BC, or perhaps even 7500 BC, predating the oldest known remains in the subcontinent more than 5000 years. Archaeologists were mystified by the artifacts they recovered from the site. After all, the man-made objects discovered yielded carbon dates up to 9,500 years old, one of the oldest artifacts discovered in the entire world. This means that the people of this unprecedented civilization lived towards the end of the Ice Age, when the water levels all around the planet rose. Number 12. The Strange Colored Pebbles of Lake McDonald Most people rave about white or black sand each time they visit the beach. But those who visit Lake McDonald in Montana have a different reason for visiting the lake. Lake McDonald is a unique body of water that offers not only an enchanting clear water, but also beautiful pebbles. Located in the Glacial National Park, the lake is surrounded by a variety of colored rocks and pebbles. The tiny stones are visible on the shallow parts of the lake, making the water look dreamy. Stunning shades of dark red, green, maroon, and blue can be seen beneath the water making Lake McDonald an incredible attraction. To many visitors, the colored pebbles are a part of a mystery. Were they hand-painted and deposited in the lake? The simple answer is no. These pebbles were created by nature herself. The explanation is quite simple. The colors of the rocks are determined by the presence or absence of iron in the water. There are more than 700 lakes in the Glacier National Park, and only 113 of the lakes have names. Each one of the lakes has its own unique composition, Green rocks can be seen at Otokomi Lake where the water is deeper. Meanwhile, red rocks and other dark-colored rocks are often seen in Lake McDonald because of its iron-rich water and the constant heat and pressure in it. In time, the pebbles break due to weathering and erosion. They end up mixing together until they finally settle in Lake McDonald. Number 11. Siberian Lake Monster The Loch Ness Monster is a long-necked creature that allegedly resides in Scotland's Loch Ness. But did you know that a similar monster was rumored to be living in the remote Lake Labinkir in Siberia? Known as the Labinkir Monster, this legendary creature was said to have been living in the frozen Siberian lake for centuries. Some say that the animal resembles a giant pike or a reptile or Scotland's Nessie, but no one can tell for sure. There have been several sightings of the creature, but skeptics remain unconvinced of its existence. In 1953, a team of geologists from the Soviet Academy of Sciences visited the lake and they reported seeing a massive creature as big as an orca swimming near the surface. In 2012, a professor of biogeography at Moscow State University claimed that sonar readings of the lake indicated that there were several massive creatures in the water, bigger than a school of fish. The following year, a team of Russian geographers bravely explored the frozen Siberian lake, one of the coldest lakes in the world with temperatures regularly hitting minus 50 degrees Celsius. The team hoped to break the records for the coldest dive in the world, but some claimed that the team had a hidden motive, the mission of finding the Labinkir monster. Unfortunately, the team failed to retrieve any photographic evidence of the monster. However, a team claimed they found jawbones and skeletal remains of large animals through an underwater scanner. The findings are yet to be confirmed. Today, many are convinced that several large animals are living in the so-called coldest and permanently inhabited lake. What could they be? Is it possible for animals to survive in the punishing cold of Siberia? Number 10. Devil Sea Mystery You're most likely familiar with the Bermuda Triangle. It's a mythical area in the Atlantic Ocean near Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. In this part of the ocean, it's said that dozens of ships and airplanes have disappeared into thin air. The Devil's Sea is also similar to the Bermuda Triangle. Located near the Japanese coast in the Pacific Ocean, the Devil's Sea is one of the vile vortices in the world. Several strange events have unfolded in this part of the ocean, and some of them go back to the 11th century AD. It was said that the Mongolian conqueror Kublai Khan tried invading Japan, but failed after losing his vessels and 40,000 crew members while sailing the Devil's Sea. In the 1800s, Rumors about a lone woman sailing through the Devil's Sea spread throughout Japan. However, her whereabouts remained unknown. The following years, 
fishing and military vessels began disappearing in the area. It was then that Japan decided to investigate and try to locate the missing vessels. They sent a ship known as Kaio Maru No. 5 in 1952, but the vessel went missing until its wreck was located years later. However, the crew of the vessel disappeared without a trace. There are several theories that explain the strange disappearances that occurred in the Devil's Sea. Chinese legend claims that a monstrous dragon lives below its waters, attacking unsuspecting vessels and sinking them. There are also claims that the area of the ocean is simply haunted. Scientific explanations were proposed attempting to solve the puzzling incidents in the Devil's Sea, but none could explain the phenomena. Number 9. Mysterious Underwater Circles Stories about mysterious glowing circles appearing underwater have been around since the 1900s. Several reports of massive circles with a radius of 150 to 200 meters glowing underwater have surfaced. But to this day, this strange occurrence remains unexplained. There is only one thing that we know about these glowing underwater circles. They only appear in the waters of the Indian Ocean and nowhere else. Sailors who happen to witness the strange circles claim that the mysterious shapes behave differently. Some of the luminous shapes appear on the surface of the ocean, with several rays extending from the center, while some lack the radial rays. Their luminosity also differs, with some of the circles being bright enough to help you read in the middle of the ocean at the dead of the night. For centuries, this phenomena has been a puzzling occurrence for sailors. And recently, experts began noticing the strange circles. The inexplicable phenomena has been given several nicknames around the world. Some call it Buddha wheels, while others call it the Devil's Carousel. Despite its occurrence in different parts of the ocean, experts cannot identify the cause of the strange circles. Number 8. World's Longest Underwater Gypsum Cave It isn't always that we discover a place that looks out of this world, but in 1992, a team of brave divers made it possible for us to get a glimpse of a rare underwater gypsum cave. Known as Orda Cave, this magnificent underwater cavern is located underneath the western Ural Mountains in the Perm region of Russia. Today, it's recognized as one of the most beautiful caves in the world. It spans over 5 kilometers, making it one of the longest underwater caves and the largest underwater gypsum cave in the world. What's intriguing about this natural formation is the fact that it has never stopped rearranging itself since it formed 300 million years ago. Thanks to its clear water, divers are free to take photos of the stunning gypsum formation inside. Number 7. Yonaguni Monument A settlement that was doomed to remain submerged underwater? Or a natural formation? I'll let you be the judge after learning more about the Yonaguni Monument. In most cases, it's easy for us to determine whether something is man-made or not. However, there are times when even experts fail to conclude whether something was created by man or by nature itself. The Yonaguni Monument is among these mysteries. The monument is a massive underwater rock formation that covers an area of about 60 by 50 meters. It was discovered in the 1980s by a scuba diver observing hammerhead sharks. But instead of the underwater creatures, he accidentally stumbled upon the massive monument. Ever since, the puzzling case of the Yonaguni Monument began, and it's a hot topic of debate to this day. It's located off the south coast of Yonaguni, an island in Japan's southwest region. The entire site is composed of stone slabs with clear-cut corners and sides, making it undoubtedly look man-made. However, when analysis of the monument began, experts contradicting the theory began to emerge. The Yonaguni Monument became known as the Japanese Atlantis. Some say that the site is composed of a pyramid structure, road, stone tablets, streets, and walls. It was described as a settlement where an unprecedented civilization lived hundreds or even thousands of years ago. Some claimed that it was the lost continent of Mu, a place that was destroyed and sunk underwater after being hit by a catastrophic disaster. However, none of these claims have been verified. Some claim that the underwater ruins weren't what they seem. Instead, the entire site is nothing but the product of thousands of years of erosion and weathering. Number 6. Sunken City of Cuba Over a decade has passed since sonar equipment picked up a massive settlement in the ocean off the western coast of Cuba. The structure was found more than 600 meters underwater, with stones arranged akin to an urban settlement. When the discovery was announced, Several people began calling it the Lost City of Atlantis. What's strange about this discovery is that there seem to be no further efforts to excavate the site, 
Due to an unknown reason, skeptics claimed that the ancient underwater settlement wasn't what it looked like. Several claimed that the reason for the lack of explorations was because of the fact that there was no ancient settlement to explore to begin with, and that the stones were all products of nature. However, experts who were initially part of the project claimed that the story simply went cold, and there were no research teams invested enough to explore the ruins. And so to this day, the lost city of Cuba remains a mystery. Number 5. The Unexplained Julia Sound the strange sound that was recorded on March 1, 1999 by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration was like something out of a sci-fi movie. The unidentified sound only lasted for about 15 seconds, but it was among the most chilling recordings ever obtained in the ocean. The bizarre tone was loud enough to be heard over the entire Equatorial Pacific Ocean autonomous hydrophones. All we know is that the origin of the sound was in between Bransfield Straits and Cape Adair. However, we still don't know what made the sound. Noah claimed that the source of the sound was a large iceberg that ran aground off Antarctica, but there are also others who believe a different theory. Several people claim that the sound, now known as Julia, might be a massive creature living underwater. However, this theory remains unsupported to this day. Come to think of it, with the vast unexplored area of the ocean, it isn't too impossible that a massive creature is living in the abyss without our knowledge. And now, it's time for today's topic. What scientists discovered underwater shocked the whole world. There are a lot of wrecks underwater, and most of them belong to planes. As they say, there are more planes in the ocean than submarines in the sky. One of the most mysterious wrecks is the Ghost of the Deep. It's a sunken World War II DC-3 aircraft off the coast of Turkey. Before it was deliberately sent underwater, the plane once served the United States as a transporter, but now it'll forever remain submerged. The once mighty plane is now rusted and covered in coral. Instead of soldiers, only divers and sea creatures can explore its interior. Although the sunken plane is considered a paradise for divers, some people claim that the submerged aircraft is actually cursed. Some people who visited the site remember feeling something as they went closer to the wreck. A haunted site underwater? Sounds like something straight out of a nightmare. As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Sea Serpent of the HMS Daedalus The story of HMS Daedalus may be a century-old tale, but it remains to be among the greatest maritime mysteries to this day. It began on August 6, 1848. HMS Daedalus was sailing between the Cape of Good Hope and St. Helena when the captain and the crew saw a massive serpent. They claimed that the creature's head was visible on the surface of the water, which they estimated to be four feet in length. But the remaining body of the serpent was allegedly at least 60 feet long. The captain of the ship claimed that the creature was dark brown and had a yellowish-white color around its throat. It was an agile animal capable of swimming between 19 or 24 kilometers per hour. According to the crew, the creature observed the ship and remained visible for at least 20 minutes before disappearing into the water. There are some claims that the tale about the serpent of the HMS Daedalus wasn't true. However, the crew insisted that they knew what they saw until the end of their lives. To this day, there are still people who doubt the reality of their accounts. But it isn't surprising considering the entire ordeal sounds more like a fictional tale. Number 3. The Cursed Shipwreck in 2019, a team of researchers aboard the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration accidentally discovered an impressive wreck while they were testing a remote-operated vehicle. They stumbled upon the wreck 160 miles off the shore in the Gulf of Mexico. When experts began searching for the wreck, they stumbled upon it about 1,460 feet below the surface of the water, right beside an underwater cliff known as the Florida Escarpment. Upon a closer look, Experts realized that the vessel remained submerged for the last 200 years. Unfortunately, much about the vessel remains unclear. The boat's nationality, crew, rig, or trade remain unknown. There are several claims that the shipwreck was cursed and was sent to its fiery end at the bottom of the ocean because of it. Two years after its discovery, details about the ship are yet to be revealed. Number 2. The Uncanny Case of the Mary Celeste the case of the Mary Celeste and its crew is perhaps among the most disturbing maritime cases ever recorded. 
On November 7, 1872, brigantine ship Mary Celeste began its journey from New York Harbor to Genoa, Italy. On board were Captain Benjamin S. Briggs, his wife Sarah, their two-year-old daughter Sophia, and eight crew members. About three weeks later, the vessel was found floating 400 miles east of the Azores. When the British ship De Gratia spotted it, there were no people on board. The ship was undamaged. Several feet of water entered the ship, but aside from a missing lifeboat, the six months' worth of food and water originally prepared on the ship were intact. Did the passengers of the vessel escape, or did something sinister cause their sudden disappearance? Why would the captain abandon months' worth of food in a perfectly sound ship? Pirate attacks, mutiny, sea monsters? All sorts of theories appeared over the years, but to this day, no one could explain the reason behind the disappearance of the passengers aboard the Mary Celeste. Number 1. The Missing Island of Mexico How can one island suddenly vanish? This has been the enduring question about the Phantom Island of Mexico. Bermeja was a tiny, uninhabited island located northwest of the Yucatan Peninsula. For one century, it remained in the Gulf of Mexico, and yet no one dared to venture and step foot on the island. The following century, it vanished into thin air. Maritime investigations and aerial surveys were conducted to find Bermeja, but no one could find it again. Some might think that it simply didn't exist in the first place, but in the 16th and 17th centuries, the island was a common fixture on maps drawn by Spanish explorers. It was either referred to as Bermeja or Vermeja, and its location varied slightly, but it was always part of the maps drawn at the time. But towards the end of the 17th century, less and less maps included the island, until it completely disappeared. No one knows what happened to the Phantom Island, but there are several theories about where it went. Several claim that the simplest explanation of the island's disappearance is the rising sea levels caused by the changing climate. Meanwhile, others blame an underwater earthquake or a secret government mission for the missing island. According to some, the Bermeja Island was deliberately blown up by the United States to extend their sovereignty in the oil-rich Gulf. This seems like an unlikely scenario, but many seem to believe that this is the case. To this day, the truth about this island remains unknown there are still a lot of uncharted parts of the ocean. It won't be surprising if mysteries from beneath the waves surface in the years to come. If you know other ocean anomalies we didn't include in this video, make sure to comment down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.